What you need to know about sheep pox and goat pox. This is Ben the veterinarian. He is visiting Sarah the farmer, who is concerned about the health of her animals. Recently, Sarah noticed that some of her sheep and goats were not looking well. They had discharge coming from their eyes and nostrils, and their eyelids were swollen. She also noticed that some of her sheep had sores and lesions all over their bodies. Ben examined the animals and told Sarah that all the warning signs she had noticed were symptoms of viral diseases called sheep pox and goat pox, or SPGP. He took samples of their blood and skin lesions to confirm the diagnosis in the state laboratory and alerted the relevant authorities about a possible SPGP outbreak. To help prevent the spread of the viruses, he told Sarah to gather all of her sick animals together as quickly as possible and to keep them separate from the healthy herds. Ben explained that the viruses could spread very quickly if healthy animals came into contact with the skin lesions, saliva, milk, urine, feces, or fluids from the eyes and nose of infected animals. Ben also warned Sarah that the viruses could survive for several months on shearing equipment, skin, wool, clothes, shoes, and even veterinary instruments or vehicles. He advised her to disinfect her clothes and shoes and all of her farming equipment to keep her healthy animals safe. Sarah worried that the viruses might make her family ill, but Ben explained that sheep pox and goat pox could not harm humans. A few days later, Ben received the results from the state laboratory confirming his diagnosis of SPGP. He returned to Sarah's farm to check on her animals. After disinfecting all of his equipment carefully and changing his clothes and shoes, Ben vaccinated all of Sarah's healthy sheep and goats. This helped protect them from the viruses and prevent any further losses. Ben did not want to risk spreading SPGP to any of Sarah's neighbors, so he asked his colleagues to vaccinate all of the sheep and goats on the surrounding farms. Two weeks later, Ben returned to check on Sarah's herds. Thankfully, all of her remaining animals were healthy and the viruses were contained. None of Sarah's neighbors' animals fell ill and they could all sell their goat's milk and sheep's wool at the local market. Thanks to Sarah's quick actions, thousands of animals' lives and farmers' livelihoods were saved. Take action. Early reporting saves lives and livelihoods.